day in, day out, there are disciplinary issues brought before your office. What do you think is a problem causing all this? Well, I must say that um, um, football is run with regulations, um, and so anytime there, there are infractions of the regulations, the laws of the game, um, or any time a club feel aggrieved that another club uh, has um, uh, violated the regulations, the club will bring a protest or will bring a complaint. Um, so we have the protest side of things, which is uh, club versus club. And then we have um, the misconduct side, uh, which is um, the GFA prosecutor uh, charging uh, an official, um, so it can be a match official, it can be against a club official, a player, or the uh, supporters of a club. And, and so once these cases are filed and they arrive for hearing, the disciplinary committee um, is duty bound by the um, regulations to adjudicate uh, those matters and come up with decisions. And so that is what. Uh, has been going on so but the thing is that you will be appointed by the executive committee at the end of the season uh, you present your report to the executive committee uh, this three-day uh, 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 summit um, executive committee summit is unique in the sense that unlike uh, previous year where you send your report and the committee would look at the reports and then uh, take decisions from the report flowing from that. If there are issues for the executive committee at their level to deal with, they, uh, they have the mandate to deal with, they will deal with them. And then those that they feel um, per the regulation, it has to be taken to Congress for Congress to deliberate and then pass some resolutions going forward in order to um, improve the game, they will take to, to the Congress. But in this, this year, they decided that they need all the heads to come uh, and um, so that they can ask questions. You have a better uh, opportunity to explain some of the issue. Um, the whole uh, uh, um, yeah. discussion goes on and then we, we have better solutions for the future. And so that's what we came to do. So, I, 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 like you said, I presented the reports from the disciplinary committee side of issues uh, uh, shows the statistics uh, for the year also did the comparative uh, analysis of uh, the 2014-2015 year 2015-2016 and now 2016-2017 which shows a clear uh, uh, the changes um, that has occurred so in some instances uh, for example women's football in 2015-2016 um, it too, they didn't have mis uh, uh, misconduct of players and things like that. Last year we, we had, but this year the number is, is totally zero. And so, so this is something that the women league can uh, can be appreciated for, and then they can uh, um, go on to uh, do more in terms of holding that record of the whole season goes uh, at gone without. Uh, huge problems for, for, for their community in terms of this my issue. Um, so some will say that the increment of the cases might be due to people interpreting the reg regulations given to them. Is it due to lack of education of the people or the club owner that is leading to these cases? We, we need continuous education. Um, I don't think uh, um, it's the lack of education. It's the constant reminder because i i'm sure every supporter in ghana knows that you can't jump into the field of play when the game is going on you can't chase a referee you can't assault a referee uh, you can't assault uh, a player of the opposing side all those things that supporters do i'm sure they are aware but football is um, is full of emotions and so the constant reminder and constant education would let uh, uh, us get to the level where supporters will appreciate that no matter what, you have to trust your club officials because there are rules that they can use to advance their case. So assuming something is going on in the game that you don't like, there is a process for the club officials 
uh, uh, to, to advance that argument and get maybe a match official to the match review committee or report a match uh, commissioner to the match review committee or the GFA. Are, are, are the punishments not harsher enough to deter others? You, 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 you can be the best judge. There are times that uh, we hear on radio that this punishment is too, too much. You want to kill the club and all that. At other times, the same people who complain will say that, oh, this is too soft. Uh, it's a matter of opinion. The, the committee is made up of five people. You need three to form a quorum. So once you get three, you can do a case of four or five. So at the sitting, Sometimes what uh, people outside the sitting don't know is that what might be, be uh, what is being discussed on radio might not be the exact facts before the committee. So the facts before the committee is what the committee is. The committee cannot rely on uh, discussions on radio. The documents before us is what we look at, and then we, we adjudicate and come out with the with the punishment. Where the punishment we feel the punishments are, are not severe or they not. Uh, meet the the incident or the misconduct. Um, that's what forums like this discuss, and so um, we take it to Congress, and then a new rule, or either we amend the rule or we create a new rule altogether to uh, under situations like that. So I'm sure going forward, you see some of these rules coming up because the game is progressing. Uh, it's a human uh, institution, and so when changes come. You have to amend the rules or create rules to address the current situation, and so um, that's that's uh, going forward. I'm sure as a committee uh, uh, will deal with some of the issues, and then the, those issues that affect the regulation will be taken to Congress for the whole Congress to deliberate and pass. Don't forget that in the past, the executive committee has taken some of the rules to Congress, and then Congress members will say no, maybe. Now that we've gone full circle, um, the Congress members will be more amendable to some of the changes. Um, there are developmental changes that we have to embrace. Uh, I know sometimes people are very defensive and they think that they will be caught by the rules, but it's the very nature of the rules that will cause us to change the way we do things, which will project the game better and then it's better for all of us.